hello again. <laughs> Not much to see. Thick pea soup uh, in Seaton, Peru, or just Seaton, I guess. Thought, right, I'll grab the camera. <sighs> but there's not a lot to see. And I've got my down jacket on still. Because it's bloody cold. And because I'm wearing it, tank can overheat easy. So I'm keeping my, uh, keeping pace down, keeping, well, keeping warm at the same time. Hopefully, at some point, the sun will come up from all this mist and fog. Oh. Yeah, golden arches. Breakfast time. The sun's finally come out, muck fog's cleared. I ain't actually told you what I'm doing today. So, 400 come to ride all together. I did 140 last night. Ish. And heading towards Barnard Castle this afternoon. Should get there. I don't know. Anywhere between four and six, I think. But before then, I've got Newcastle to enjoy, so hopefully get some footage from the city. I'm still enjoying my breakfast here. I'm slowly seeing the sun disappear back into the fog again, which means the temperature's going to plumb in a little while. As you can see, I'm braveless, being sleepless. But not for much longer if that buddy hangs around. Ugh. Getting close to Newcastle. I think I'm in Jarrow. I don't know. It's, it says Dame Doughtry Street. Dorothy Street. So, yeah. Finally getting something somewhere to... Uh, film <laughs> oh I wish that uh, fog would go and do one more scenes of beautiful coastline can't believe it's nearly June late, late spring bank holiday and it's foggy as hell heading northwest now just approaching South Shields the Lizard Lane Carrollham Park just off to my left so I'm going inland a little bit of course I've got to get across the river and I won't call it River Tyne. So maybe the fog on the Tyne, or mine or mine, will hopefully no longer be mine or mine. And I actually do one, I've said that before. I'm just hoping, because I'm coming in land a little bit, it might disappear. I want to get some quality footage today, but it's not happening. Right, I really am coming into Yarrow this time and the Tyne Tunnel should be interesting just on the road it receives off I think now I'm almost look at that weird structure over there so there's a lift here somewhere to go right underneath the, uh, the River Tyne Tyne Pedestrian and Cyclist Tunnel Well this has only just been opened again recently maybe it's been opened about 8 months a year something like that it's Cyclist tunnel pedestrians. I'll get you lost. Uh, so, we can, <laughs> so we can get back on the bikes now. Yes. Oh, excellent. It's like, it's like being in London. Is it? <laughs> on the underground. On the underground. So I was chit chatting away with a few riders there. Oh, and before I get to talk about what I was just about to talk about, I lost my flip flops again. God, another pair of flip flops wasted. Oh, I was asking me loads of questions and I mentioned where I was staying last night. Uh, I described it as a posh bus stop. Posh bus stop, what makes a bus stop posh? Well, one, it has to be dry. Two, it has to be big enough to get your bike in. Three, if it's got a bench, it's got to have a bench on it. Four, it needs to be quiet. Needs to be tidy, well kept, bigger the better. That's all I can think of right now anyway. And this one was all of those things. I'll tell you what, it's great to be in land a little bit. And no word of a lie, I'm not exaggerating, it's a good 10 degrees above where I was back in South Shields. Our warmers are off, starting to warm up. It's 20 past nine in the morning. It only can get warmer from here on in. So I believe I'm on the Benton Way at the moment. How long this goes on for? I have no idea. Let's follow it until we get pissed off and go back on the road again. It just occurred to me, this is where uh, Francis Cage is based now, isn't it? So, somewhere up in the northeast. I'm just hoping I've got some of the sights and sounds of the city along the route. 
If not, I'll find some. Vivi Sport. <laughs> Bit of correction. I am actually on the Hadrian's Way. So I believe that's the Millennium Bridge over there and the Tyne Bridge. I'm not sure either which is in this route, but uh, how often do you come to Newcastle? So I may well go out my way to pass over at least one of those, perhaps the Millennium Bridge. Anyway, I've just had a coffee. Yeah, weather's improved, sun's out. Fog's gone. It's time to uh, get back on my bike again. Soaking up all the sights today. Yeah. Newcastle was brilliant. Dropping not too much traffic, to be honest. Quite a few cycle lanes and segregated lanes as well. It's been a good, uh, good experience so far. It's got really quiet now. Bit of a back road, a popular cycle track. Had a few people pass me by. Great ride, great route. Just stopped at a local garage to top up the water yet again. Favourite time of year, absolutely love this. I've entered Northumberland. It's a county I've never been in before. Finally found some hills. It's around 130 kilometers of them. Up and down, up and down. What a way to finally finish a ride. Typical Ricky Lake. Finish on loads of scenic hills. Although to be fair, if you are going camping, that's generally where you find campsites, isn't it? But it's the ones I pick anyway. Lovely countryside. Don't forget, if you want to support my channel, you can find me on Buy Me A Coffee. The link's down in below the description. Now, I can't remember if I told you earlier, the transcontinental race has been cancelled. And I must say, I'm not at all surprised, actually. I kind of saw it coming, especially as the news in the last week coming out of France was. If you went to France for holidays, at the moment you have to take, well if you're from the UK you have to have seven days of quarantine once you arrive there. But they also uh, asked all the riders what they thought or whether they've had jabs and things like that. And it turns out only 25% of the riders thought TCR would be possible in 2021. Which was uh, pretty much echoing my thoughts as well. I just couldn't see it happening. In terms of training this year as well, it's been hampered a lot, kind of been demotivated at times hotels have not really have not been open you know you've had to go stay with friends and things like that and and even then get the rides have been small old nature get all my excuses out why i'm not ready for 2021 as to what i'm going to do third week of july into august all i can say is watch the space i don't know yet uh, i'm going to have some epic adventures i did be told myself that TCR, if it was cancelled, I'd buy myself a gravel bike. But they're in such high demand at the moment, aren't they? So, by the time I get one, summer will probably be over. Unless I'm really looking to find somebody who's got one and doesn't want it. Just have to keep an eye out. If you know anybody, just head down in the comments. Up in the northeast, I've seen a few bushes just like this. These yellow ones. What are they called? Is there any uh, tree experts watching? Any shrubbery experts? 
What is this yellow stuff? If you know, if you know what to do, stick it down below. <coughs> Can't do one video without doing my sheep impression. Hello. So I've just left Cap Heaton. There's a little tea rooms there, happened to find, completely by accident. Apparently, apparently really uh, popular. You can fancy ride out to the Northumberland Hills. Highly recommend it. I'll definitely pay it over a visit in the future. Oh my God, it's a pterodactyl. Maybe it won't come back. in County Durham. Big hills have greeted me. Gosh, a couple of giant ones earlier. It's away 10 percent Admittedly it was a bit short, but then there were some gigantic ones which just kept going. And with all this stuff on, God it was hard work. Oh, look at that wall. I'll tell you what, Katie Cookerbur would be uh, proud of that wall. Oh, that's a good wall, that one. Marks out of five, please. Everyone. More of that yellow stuff there. More coming up on the left as well. Again, if you know what it's called, pop it down in the comments below. I wonder whether Avid Audaxa and Tree Surgeon wonder what Adam Watkins has to say. Does he know? Can he identify? That shrubbery. Oh, tell you what, I can identify a great view. That's it right there. Oh. What a climb that was. Way off I go. And tomorrow we'll be going down to or going through Barnard Castle. Try and find spec savers. Please join me for that to make my way back to Rutland. Ooh, it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. I don't know if I got what it takes to get over there. Because it's uh, just as much climbing tomorrow as there has been today. And I'm just hoping though, there's a little bit more rolling and less jagged. Because this one has been had lots of steep climbs in it. So Fingers crossed. It wouldn't be that bad. Three and a half K to go. Look at the sky over there. Oh no. Last hill. Number campsite setting. Finally got here. About an hour ago. Something like that, so stopped, had another uh, Parmo chips, and I'm just uh, submitting my ride onto Strava now. Oh, I've not really showed you the bike, perhaps I'll show you tomorrow the setup and things I've brought because it's slightly different to uh, the past, past uh, sort of setups. And I guess if you're just joining the channel as well, it'd be useful to let me show you quickly around the bike, so I'll do that tomorrow. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. I'm not sure what time I'm going to get to campsite, but get some food and things at Oakham, which is 15 miles away, maybe 10 miles away. That's going to be the next video. I hope. Got any questions? So forward to those coming through. So from here in County Durham, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>